Griddle Cook Eat More here for breakfast time. It's breakfast sandwich time at Griddle Cook Eat More. Got the Vivor griddle fired up to about 325 degrees. Let's check out what we're gonna do today. You've probably seen it in the title. So we're gonna do Taylor ham or pork roll. So I believe if you're in Northern Jersey, you call it Taylor ham, and if you're not in Northern Jersey, you call it pork roll. But Taylor ham is pork roll. So let's see what we got here. So we got Taylor ham or pork roll, whatever you want to call it. We're going to get this sliced up here in a minute. So we're going to do a Taylor ham, egg and cheese. We got a slice of uh, pepper jack cheese. We got a couple eggs and we got a, uh, from a, a really good bagel shop here in St. Louis, still kind of warm. Uh, nice everything seasoned, everything seasoned bagel. And in uh, my research, uh, it seems like all the little restaurant clips you see on YouTube or on uh, Instagram and whatever, uh, TikTok, YouTube, they're always rocking and everything bagel. It seems like hot pepper cheese or pepper jack cheese is popular, all that stuff. So basically that's what we're gonna do. I did see some people, they put ketchup on there too. Uh, I don't know about the ketchup thing we're gonna do without ketchup. But here we go. Let's get this rocking. Uh, first thing we gotta do is we're gonna bring our attention over to the slicer and uh, we'll get this Taylor ham sliced up. All right, interesting stuff right here. Never had this before in my life. Uh, one of our grocery stores had it, so I seen it and I grabbed it because I've heard about it. Something I used to love, I used to get here, and then uh, I don't know if anybody has it anymore, but uh, chicken roll. But this is pork roll. All right, let's get it sliced up. Slices like that are probably pretty good. There we go. All right, so these are decent cut slices here. Now I know you gotta you gotta put some slit them, kind of like frying bologna basically. And this is gonna keep them from from curling up. All right, so we got that there. Let's get our bagel sliced. It's a beautiful bagel right here. Oh boy. Put that apart like that, perfect. And let's get them eggs whipped. All right, here we go. We're ready to get cooking. So let's uh, move on over to the griddle and get this rocking. All right, here we go. We're at the griddle. Um, I forgot to hit record, but anyways, got my Taylor ham down. Uh, I got my little burger press on there, kind of getting it browned up. I got my everything bagels uh, over to the right, uh, keeping warm. So we're gonna get this Taylor ham browned up here and then uh, we'll drop some eggs down. Yo, look at that. Looking good right there. A little butter down for the eggs. Now, as I watch these uh, videos where they do it, I'm gonna try to get my egg shaped to the way shape I want them. I want it kind of like a square here. Almost pretty good there. Pretty close, what I'm looking for. Work that over a little bit. So then, they throw the cheese down right in there. And then they're gonna flip the egg over on top of it. All right, let's get that egg flipped over here. Right. Get underneath it. Try and do this left-handed. Give that a second there, get that cheese to melt inside that egg a little bit, because that's what we want. We nice, want that nice ooey gooeyness. All right, let's start building. Let's 
should be huge. I'm gonna cut some of this egg off. There we go, like that. Like that. All right, and as always, you gotta wrap it. I don't know why, but you just have to, trust me. So, let's scoop it here. Drop it down. She'll flip it over like that. like that right there and then uh, definitely we got to give that a cut here do that paper there a little bit come on rip off there we go all right oh boy look at that get that flipped around there oh look at that looks beautiful beautiful all right let's give it a try Steaming hot there. Here we go. Check it out. Oh, get my bagel straightened up on there. That is really good. I've never had it before, but I'm digging it. Probably could actually probably could do without that salt, pepper, garlic on there. Um, Cause that, uh, that pork definitely got a little saltiness to it. And then everything bagel with all that seasoning, at least these bagels. Yeah, if you didn't put that little bit of salt, pepper, and garlic on there, I don't think I don't think you'd miss it on the egg. Let's get one more bite. All right, well, that's a win. I like it. I dig it. If I make it to Jersey one day, I may get a Taylor ham or a pork roll, depending on where I'm at. Try out a real one. But that's it for this video. If you got Taylor ham in your area and you never tried it, check your grocery store, uh, pick it up. Super simple, easy sandwich to make. Give it a try, see what you think. But that is it for this video and I am out.